So today's video is my review on Blackstone Labs Glycolog. This is a nutrient partitioning agent that they have out. It's supposed to help you utilize glucose, dispose of glucose in the blood, uptake amino acids in the muscle cells, and also make you more insulin sensitive. So let's get into this. So controlling how insulin is used means less glucose to fat, more energy, more muscle, better recovery. So let's get into the ingredients of this product and then we will talk about how it did for me. So all of these ingredients were put together in this form that increase insulin sensitivity. The first ingredient on here is chromium piconate, which scientifically it's shown to reduce insulin resistance by blocking an enzyme called PTP1B. Now PT1B is the main cause of insulin resistance. So when PT1B is active within a cell, it stops insulin from actually activating the protein kinase enzymes or anything else within the cell to allow the activation of GLUC4 so nutrients have trouble getting into the cell. It also enhances insulin receptor signaling by enhancing intercellular signaling. The next ingredient is Geminia sylvestri. Now through scientific studies, this enhances the function of insulin to decrease blood sugar levels, which improves the rate of insulin secretion. Then there's bitter melon. Bitter melon is an insulin mimicker, so it can actually activate GLUT4 within cells without having insulin present. And this helps lower blood sugar levels. It activates AMPK, our fuel sensing enzyme and also GLU4 in the cell, allowing, allowing more glucose and amino acids, of course, to enter the cells. Then there's super berberine. And berberine has been shown in studies to be as effective as metformin and causes a major reduction in blood sugar levels, exhibited consistent activities and improvement of glycemic and lipid parameters, LDL, glucose levels. It increases insulin sensitivity of insulin resistant by nearly 50%. It also upregulates the AMPK pathway in the cell, bringing in more glucose and amino acids into the cell membrane. Next ingredient, is cinnamon bark extract 25 to 1 in scientific studies exhibits characteristics that mimic insulin without insulin being present activates protein kinase receptors and increases glucose and amino acid uptake so the second to last ingredient in here is rala this increases insulin sensitivity it activates glut 4 receptors for more glucose and amino acid uptake and it also reduces blood glucose that's been sitting in the blood for too long from being stored as fat the last ingredient in here is bioprim which improves basically absorption of nutrients. So glycolog, my review on like glycolog. What was my experience on glycolog? I am down to half, less than half of the insulin dosage I used to give myself around a certain feeding window. So this is doing its job. It is disposing of glucose within my, within my system without the need for insulin. So it will lower your overall need for your body to produce insulin in the long run. It, it does make you, and again, it's making me in, at the same time more insulin sensitive. So being somebody who does not produce my own insulin, very little if any, I notice a big difference. And it's gotta be a combination of the mimickers and also the insulin sensitivity to actually bring my blood sugars down to normal with half of the insulin that I normally need to take. So I don't expect this to take me fully off of insulin. I, I'm not looking at that pretty much. It's been a kind of a, a run of a, of, a, of a ride for me um, doing this for the last two weeks because I slowly had to adjust, hit many lows. I hope you guys liked the video because I put a lot of time and research into making sure that these ingredients actually had research to back the statements and the claims that Blackstone had. That's why I'm gonna put all the research links down below. A few things that I want to say about the product. Now, I did not feel this kick in or start to feel it kick in until about two days in as far as energy wise. Personally, I'm the perfect person to, to test this product being that I do not produce my own insulin. So I actually visually, visually, because I'm taking my blood test, see and got to see how my glucose levels would react on this. I didn't notice, I didn't get to the point of half my insulin right away. So it slowly started to build up in my system over the last two weeks to where now, like I said, I'm down to half of my intake. So at first I was 25, 
around a certain window of units of insulin. Then it went to 20, then it went to 15. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna try 12 today. And I was like, oh, great, it's 12. And then, and then today it was like, I'm gonna try 10. Oh, great, it's 10. So it's almost like a shot in the dark, you know, for me, I'm just kind of just playing around with it and hoping I don't drop into a low because when I drop into a low, I just start eating more. And then there goes my diet. What this thing does as far as you have less glucose within your system, which means less fat to be stored, which means better recovery, which I did have and I do have better recovery, more lean muscle mass, which I believe the lean muscle is coming in. I'm getting definition within since I started taking this product. So I hope this review was knowledgeable for you guys. You got something out of it as far as with the ingredients. I hope it wasn't too long. If there's any questions that you guys have, definitely leave them down below. Other than that, this is Dave. I'm signing off. We will see you next time on the channel.